So continuing from part one on the 5K2, if you do the show error DP neighbor, you'll see uh, we have the port channel going back to the 5K1, and we have this um, uh, one slash five going to the second enclosure, uh, going to the virtual connect uplink port, uh, port two, and we have this default gateway through the uh, one slash 17. Okay, so. Uh, it's going to a uh, HP networking 5820 switch router, so I just uh, use it as a default gateway. So if you do the show run interface Ethernet 1 slash 5, that's the interface going to the uh, 5K uh, enclosure 2. And if you do the, so you can see it's a regular trunk. And if you do the show run interface Ethernet 1 slash 17, so you can see it's the access port is a promiscuous port going to the default gateway. So let's take a look at the show VLAN, private VLAN. So it's the same configuration. Okay. So on the VMware side, uh, I have the three hosts. So this is a host uh, one, two. They are in the same uh, same enclosure, the first enclosure, and this is the three uh, in the second enclosure. So can you can see the one host one has two VMs, host two has uh, three VMs. Host 3 has a 3 VMs. So if you go to the networking, and this is the DV switch configuration. Okay, so if you look at my DV switch configuration, you can see the um, this is a private VLAN. Okay, so 400. I config you know another 403, but I, I have you know uh, you know use it. So in this test, it's just a 400, 401, and 402. Okay. And uh, if you take a look at the uplink, uh, you can see uplink we are passing all the VLANs. And let's take a look at the isolated uh, port group. And this VLAN is a private VLAN. And select the private VLAN and you configure the isolated. Okay. It's the same thing for community D1 uh, VLAN. So private VLAN, we select the community and promiscuous VLAN is the private VLAN promiscuous. Okay. So if you look at the topology, uh, you can see uh, I have three hosts, three uh, uh, uplink physical VM NIC. This uplink coming from the virtual connect downlink. Okay. So uh, if we make it bigger, uh, so you can see if we select the host one uh, with this 24, so you can see host one has a VM2 in a private uh, in, uh, in the community and VM1 in the isolated. Those two, we have three in isolated, four in community, and ten in promis promiscuous. And host three in the second enclosure, we have five in isolated, six in uh, community, and eleven in uh, promiscuous. All the VMs, all the Mac, if you go to this guy's, uh, for example, VM1, right? So all the VM Mac is uh, I statically defined just for easy identification as O1. So if it's a uh, IP address dot one is O1, IP address is dot ten is dot you know the uh, ten for the Mac. Okay. So uh, for the virtual connect configuration is very simple. So if you go to the virtual connect manager. Um, if you take a look at the uplink configuration, if you go to the Ethernet network, I <laughs> sure. Uh, let's see tunnel. I think this may be quicker. Uh, tunnel VNet for let's let's jump to the instead of pull out the list. Okay, I have this this single you know Ethernet network tunnel VNet for VLAN 400 442. So you define a single Ethernet.